We're back with Dr. Dan. What year is this truck, Dan? 05. Working on his 05 3500 that he is trying to do some rust proofing on. So they started yesterday with the flapper wheel, took the bed off. It's really the only way to do it. And we are gonna weld up some problem areas up underneath the bed that we found and keep going and then spray this down with some uh, pour 15 to address the rust. That way the uh, frame lasts as long as the engine does because anybody out there that owns a Dodge knows exactly what I'm talking about. They hold moisture everywhere and they all rust. So let's get at it. All right, so me and Austin pretty much needle gun the entire frame, got it as clean as we could, then we degreased it and pressure washed it. It came pretty good. Got most of the heavy stuff off. You can still see some of the porous uh, metal here, but now we're gonna use pour 15 and pretty much paint the entire frame, frame only, uh, now that it's nice and dry and we have the sunshine and first sun we've had in Pittsburgh, I feel like in two years. Pretty much got the back half of the frame all done. Um, this pour 15 goes on really nice with a brush, especially whenever the metal is kind of porous and not real smooth. Um, you can put it on if you in a spray gun uh, if you thin it down a little bit, but um, it saved us a little bit of time. Probably not as nice because you get all these drips when you do the brush, but you don't have to tape anything off or worry about getting it all over the cab and everything. So um, I think it looks really good, but 
most importantly, I think we got a, the metal surface uh, prepped well enough where this isn't going to just chip off and it should last for quite a long time. Uh, that was pretty much his only concern with this was making sure the truck, uh, the, the bones of the truck were lasting as well as we could. So tried to get in everywhere, got in all the holes, tried to get in as deep into the frame as we could. Tried to avoid all the things that we wanted to avoid. Um, but overall, really not a bad finished product. They're in there right now doing the underside of the bed. Um, we had to do a couple patch panels in there and uh, he's getting ready to do some tar-based or oil-based undercoating on that after the pour 15 dries.